For almost 60 years, the old science of the 20th century said that it was impossible to have human-powered flight. Typical case of the rearview mirror, right? And thousands and hundreds had uh, jumped off cliffs to, to their doom, right? So, you know, this was the old mechanical, rust, fuelist, heretic science. Now we have a new science, and we're going to show you the reason why. This is a RD propeller, helicopter propeller, mounted on a 90 volt, uh, uh, 6,000 RPM uh, electric, conventional electric motor, brushless, but conventional. And uh, it's the right material. Carbon fiber is cheap. You can build airplanes, cars, everything out of it now. It's getting cheaper every day. They're, they're using it for more and more things. It's, it's going to flood the market. It and the magnets are a team, along with some slick plastics like polypropylene and so on and so forth. But these are the main things. People are vacuum forming them. It's like easy and so on. Now, carbon is only number 12 in the uh, atomic weight, which is, the, is lighter than the, uh, lithium or, you know, or neon, you know, or oxygen. So, you know, what I'm going to do here to get this spinning is here are two, and last time I showed one, but I'm going to show two, and I'm going to rev these up to 60 or 70 volts. That's a 90 volts, but if it hits it all at once from the capacitors, you know, I don't want to blow the capacitors. The capacitors here are 75 volt. They could take 90, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep it down. So you see, last time, it seemed like people said, oh, it's like he's going to have a heart attack. No, I'm a drummer. And when you get a new drum, <laughs> this is a new energy drum. <laughs> you know, this is energy architecture, you know. I used to make drums with moose skins and, and you know, bull skins and so on, bear skins. But uh, so the people who said, hey, two of them you can't do. We're not taking any more force. I mean, these salad spinners were made for cabbage salads for women of 100 pounds, 90 pounds, so, and uh, teenage girls. So, you know, it isn't, even with the magnets, that much harder. Yeah, this energy architecture has low domes and flying buttresses. The round house is like a flying medieval buttress. So it's really energy architecture of a simple kind, of course, you know. But once you have motion, it's different from ordinary architecture, which is static. There's a guy who has dynamic architecture that generates energy with uh, wind. Things between the floors, they're building in Dubai and different places. Okay, we're at uh, 66 on one, 67. I'm only going to stop at 70 around 70 because all of the current will hit the motor, the 90 volt motor, at once. And uh, I don't want it to burn out. You know, it's, uh, when it's done for commercial uh, things, there will be like baffles in the circuit and so on and so forth. Okay, this one's at 72 now. This one's still at 66. So, now, this is the new one I built, and I must tell you it's a big disappointment. Uh, there were things I didn't know when I built it. And uh, I put two layers uh, with 12 magnets instead of six in the circle, and uh, there's too much. I underestimated the outward input, and I also didn't get it exactly centered, so all kinds of forces are lens and any forces are 
It does gain pretty fast, but you can see how slow it goes. But it's sticking. So, time to see how these are doing. Go to the thing. Okay, switch number one. Switch number two. Switch number three. Go to the back. See, it's spinning. So, there will have to be improvements, but uh, that's a serious motor and uh, it was uh, seriously making it spinning. So, I'll show you uh, the proper shape of the, uh, of the uh, wings. I only got a 20 degree slant. With the adjustable RC helicopters, that's the second, third biggest one, uh, you know, they can increase it or decrease it like a regular helicopter up to 50, 60 degrees. So, you know, they run it at 30, 35, you know. So that gives them less propulsion force. Uh, you can see I put air turbines. Now, this is a special kind of air turbine with very light thinning going back so it doesn't provide much wind resistance. So it's different in a lot of ways from our dome one on our car stacks, right? And it only takes a small diameter, you know, up to 20, 22 inches or so, and uh, quite longer blades than the ones you saw. Now, so all you have to do is get up to around 30, 35, faster than in a car, before it starts generating energy. So you have two of them on the wings, and uh, here's how you take off. You have magnetic rails, and you have 200 foot either construction or just a hill, and it goes down, and everybody's charging it up inside with their solids, with their, you know, uh, energy generators, and uh, they turn on their switches as they're going down, so that it's going fast, and by the time it hits 50 miles per hour, you know, stalling speed is maybe uh, 38, 40 miles per hour, right? Uh, you know, it's already the uh, turbines are generating energy and they're already charging up uh, for another circuit or switching on another circuit. So it, it's going to fly. Oh, you know, a good 50, 100-mile trips will be good. And instead of the macro en engineers that want hundreds of miles, thousands of miles of magnetic highways, this is only a couple of 250 feet total, right? So, you know, the, 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 the triplane has been seen before. It's, there's a pusher, and the idea of the pedal, the pilot can pedal, but the pilot doesn't have free hands, really, to, to do uh, a drum-type uh, spinning. But you can have the, in the nozzle, you can have a minimum of three people, and they better be soccer players or some really strong guys, you know, with two apiece and, and foot pedals, too, and so on. And uh, there's no passengers. Each person uh, pays, is a member of the club, and pays, you know, through their energy contribution. So it's a society, which all fuelless society will be, not based on money, but on, you know, the contributions that extend into the energy realm. So there's an artist's uh, conception of it, right? And I lifted the middle one above the wings so that the pusher would have a free free uh, uh, alleyway there. This is a very stable design. The double wing, a double tail, one with the uh, aerolions, two double aerolions, uh, it slows the vehicle down. You know, in World War II, they used them sometimes for flying boats for real long distances and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, rarely for fighter planes or something, the fastest ones. Now, some things I did in a, since the last video worked. 
and some of the things didn't work. You know, you saw that the big one, and here's the reason. Here's the vector quantities at a 60 degree spiral of the central motivating force. This goes vertical and, you know, and it has aluminum guides in the slots so that it can't turn rotationally. And this one turns rotationally and turns the whole thing, right? And uh, you can see the center of mass goes to the, the, between the two magnets here. So, uh, so I'm building that, you know. I built it just last night, and you can see the multiple layers, and I have to make more layers to keep them in place, and so on. I put in a spring, a return spring, and so on and so forth. So that's still, but just to move these out from 8 inches to 11 or 12 inches in diameter, you think, oh, you could, you know, no big deal. But it is a big deal. We just found out you saw how slow. It, it charged uh, the big one at 18 inches in diameter. And that's true of uh, turbines, water turbines. St. Louis in the Mississippi River, the original city one, only turned seven, 472 revolutions per minute, gigantic, you know, uh, windings and so on. And, uh, but there's not room for number 26 wire on the small ones that you saw, so it's got limited amperage. This one... You can use the 26 wire that I used on the thing, and it will have room for the, uh, you know, for them. So, you know, it's got, a, it'll upgrade the energy, as well as, I mean, you can use better magnets. Now, the one thing I was explaining, uh, displacing the stacked magnets outward seems to give a lot more energy than centering them up. And my theory of it is that when Faraday said uh, the faster the change in current, uh, the more current, you know, the faster the change in, uh, in polarity. So the crustals are intersecting faster when the, the, the secondary magnets are set out. You know, and that, that just struck me as I keep that. Another thing is that the magnets here in the center above the zero point the pivotal point, it works, but they're too, too far apart. It was, it's hard when I put this underneath the plastic part. It's at seven-eighths of an inch or something, and it supports some of the weight, but not very much, especially on that big, heavy one, right? So I've got it here with, uh, on the thing, on a ring at a half inch, and it should even float a little bit, you know? float the whole thing, so because when you press down this coefficient of the vector forces, you know, it's going straight down and it's going to impress it anyway, right? So you're never going to get a perfect situation there, but you can alleviate it a great deal and ease the speed of rotation. So those are a couple of the things, uh, you know, that you can uh, take a lesson in and... Uh, I don't know if we'll keep the flying buttresses or have a thing like Romanesque style here with the flat walls. Oh, and a thousand T's at 26 seems to, to go very well. Uh, you know, uh, that's what I'll use for these uh, coils. The others uh, that I was using, the 12 and 1600, doesn't seem to affect it after, after a thousand, you know. The ones on the top were 700, the ones on the bottom were 1,000, and uh, you saw it charge much more on the ones on the bottom. So it makes a difference between 700 and 1,000. Okay, be well, and uh, human-powered flight can now be the real thing. The other human-powered flight, which the record is 100 kilometers or so, is over water, they can't rise, they can't steer. The wings are so glossomer that they're surrounded and accompanied by speedboats and, and vans and, and tech, you know, all kinds of airplanes and helicopters, all kinds of fuel vehicles, you know, are shepherding as if it is the sheep or the animal and they are the keepers of the animal. That's got to stop just like we stopped it with solar vehicles and those uh, criminal uh, rich kids you know, we're spending a million bucks at MIT and went not right, and you could build one for $1,500. So, you can't do anything, only the corporations could do something. Yeah, we heard it all before. You know, with cheap 
So carbon fiber, you, you build it yourself, and it, uh, two or three thousand bucks for a small nostril one, you know. It isn't a matter of a lot of money, you know, a lot of work. But one thing, one thing, are you still on? Uh, I wanted to mention that a Swiss engineer designed one of these uh, um, roller coaster rides, 600 feet high, not 200 feet, 600 feet, that will generate 10 gravities on the bottom and kill people. It's assistant suicide and it has loops. And they're either dead when they hit the bottom and turn up into the loop, or the first two loops kill them, and then there's five extra loops on this design. You know, no magnets, nothing like that. But I thought the good old Adolf Hitler would be proud of the boy, you know, to act like humanitarians, to get rid of the people with no money and no jobs. You know, you can just imagine, you know, the quick burial, quick cremation after with a very little resistance, you know. You have people like squads going out and convincing people to commit suicide because they don't want to be useless. You tell them the young, give the young a chance, and so on. So that's your choice. Either start building the fuel of stuff, you've got the chance by seeing this video of a choice. You build the fuel of civilization of a hundred Earths, 27 of them are dead and two of them are questionable, and ours is one of the 22 of the 29 that are may become a life extinct, you know. Oh, it'll start over. It'll take millions of years. But, you know, uh, we're really, and, and all the others, it's been atomics and fuel and just the kind of things that are like uh, screwing up our planet and profit and banking and stuff and paper currency. Those are fairly original with humanity, you know. Uh, but our correlates of it. So that's uh, that's my alternative uh, vision, you know, and uh, 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 working first experiment.